welcome folks to, well, apparently it's going to be a long play of Resident Evil. I'm Gone Games and I'm joined by... Rail Danger. And this will be a no safe state run. Purely because I've been told by other people I can't do a game about safe states apparently. So okay. we'll start. This is going to be... I've got to find all the bloody um, uh, ink weapons as well on this one now, haven't I? God, that's going to be not funny. You can, can you actually tell the sound from here already? I can hear the sound of the game, yeah. Yeah, but you can tell it's a bit funny, isn't it? Yeah. That's why I'm having to cut the cut, skip the cutscene, because it really bugs out with that. So sorry about that, folks. I had to skip the cutscene, otherwise it really does bug out. And forgive me, folks, I'm a noob at Resident Evil, so I'm not going to be able to do anything wow. constructive what during a this co-commentary. I'm not that bad at it. It's been a while since I've played it, but... I think the only Resident Evil I've actually played Captain was Wester, Resident Evil 5 on the co-op. Oh, no. I hate 5. But Chris is... I've only played the co-op of it, though. What is it? Oh, you know, round at a friend's house. That's fortunate for you. Don't play single mode. You yeah, apparently it's I'm really bad. It's annoying. But Chris is our old partner, you know. <laughs> okay, let me. You've chosen Barry, haven't you? I only know Jill scenario. I only I'm really bad at Chris's scenario. I've done them both now, but I'm really Stay bad hard. at it. Yeah, Barry's on Jill's, isn't it? Yeah. I know how to get the good ending. I love it how Wesker says I'll handle this. Yeah, you can handle an empty hallway. Here we go. A dining room. <laughs> Every time. Right, now fortunately this time, folks, I won't be making this mistake that when me and Fighting Cactar did, where we couldn't figure out why we what? couldn't get the key to Yarn's room. What is this? What is it? Blood. Jill, see if you can find You don't know it's blood. It could be tomato sauce. I'll be examining this. Hope, hope this is not Chris's blood. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it isn't. Actually, it is actually. If you yeah. go on Chris's... If you actually go on Chris's scenario, the blood's not there. Yeah. Now the last time I mean fighting did this, we act if we completely forgot about the emblem thing, and we were like, why can't we find the why can't we find the shield key? Because of the emblem, we took ages to do it. That's why I'm doing it now. The only thing I know about um, Resident Evils is from what Necro's done. Well, this really? isn't the director's cut, so I have no auto aim, unfortunately. Oh, uh, that's gonna be grim. Yeah, I've done it before. I mean, I've got, I've I made sure I've had to start this game on my new virtual memory card. Ugh. Otherwise, I'd be like given like the rocket launcher of infinite ammo, which believe me, it's very fun to play the game of that. Mm. Because you That's literally s smashed every monster, everything with one shot, even the hunters. Yeah. And the rocket launcher does no splash damage to you. Very. That's good. Well, no. It's a monster! Oh, dear. The voice acting is just terrible. I heard, apparently there's a rumour that the people actually made it when they actually started making it, the people who made it voice acted it. Uh, I'm not sure if it's actually true, but... You don't Next. say! And anyway, let's report this to Wesker. I say don't report it to Wesker. I'm trying to like make it with no spoilers in this one because everyone seems to like report two spoilers, so... Alright, <laughs> not that... Yeah, lit yeah the only thing I don't like is I'm using a 360 controller which makes it so much more difficult when playing a PlayStation game. Especially oh, since oh. I've had to configure it so I can use my joypad joystick yeah. instead of using the directional buttons which makes it so much harder. I can see how that would Wesker! be. 
Help me look for him, Jill. When I got the Jewel Shock edition though, oh, the app the intro's be... changed, they've ruined the intro of it and everything. No. They've changed the music, they've changed the whole thing and everything, it ruins it. Like really cheesy and there's a version of uh, one of the directors cut I think it's a France one that has a colour intro with actually really Finally uncut one which is gory which actually shows it, the uh, guy getting killed what properly and everything about? blood and everything You don't say. That sounds like really sad. Maybe I'll need it. It is. <laughs> no. I guess it. I guess it was. Listen, if something happens, let's meet up in this hall. This. This time, I'll be there. That's really gonna annoy me. But the sound. The sound. Oh, the sounds out. If literally, it's annoys me because when I did it earlier the day, when do you, if you remember, I told you about it. I did it without, without any of anything else on, and it ran perfectly. Yeah. The one thing that annoys me with Chris's scenario is it's really hard when not using safe states because you you've got to carry the ink ribbons, haven't you? Which I think yeah. it gives me one here. Does it? Yes. No, I'm not going to use that yet. I'm, I just right. Do you remember if Barry said he'd be in the dining room? Yep. You go back in the dining room. There's no way to be seen. Stupid Barry. Where does he go? Maybe he joins Wesker in the closet. <laughs> Maybe they're having a party in Narnia somewhere. Maybe. I like how Wesker says. Uh, if you look at it properly, Wesker says, "Oh, I can handle it. I'll handle this." Yet yeah, he disappears. Apparently Wesker can't even handle an empty hallway. Were you yep. stupid controls. What kind of man can't handle an empty hallway? Apparently all but Wesker. Every man apart from Wesker can handle an empty hallway. It's Kenny from the Stars Bravo team. Now he's become a mate. Head in the <laughs> now he's become a mere shadow of his own. Well, yeah, he's dead. His head's off, Jill. Come on. Decapitation. I also found that in the director's cut, if you manage to go in training mode, it's basically advanced mode, but all the ammo you find is like doubled. Oh. So when I like did that earlier, I like had 60 ammo. Like, oh, this is cool. Make the game like easier, much easier. So. Well, when I've had fun with it and playing my rocket launcher, I've got to the point where I've had 150 clips and I haven't even used one of them purely because I've got the rocket launcher with infinite ammo. In fact, yeah. I want to actually go about that. I need there's a room I can get into. I'm hoping it's not that bloody useless toilet room. I can't get into that yet. There's also a way to, you know, like on the shotgun trap room, there's a way to actually stop it from coming in, but it gives you the bad ending if you don't let Barry help you. Because ah. in another room there's a broken shotgun, and what, you're, what you can do is take that and put, when you took the other shotgun down, put the other one back. No, I actually need to go in here. Because there's something handy. Oh yeah, this is the uh, emblem thing. You said that there was a useless toilet room before, which brings me to a question that I've been questioning for a while. Do zombies poop? I don't know, actually. 
And the rem- you never ever see a zombie poop in any zombie game or zombie movie. Well, you never see a zombie poop. In the remake, uh, that same room, there's a zombie in the shower because the, sh- the curtain's closed, and you look at, you press the curtain, and a zombie tries grabbing you in the shower. A zombie with personal hygiene? Apparently so. Hmm. How odd. I wouldn't think that would be one for personal hygiene. Either that I returned when he was in the shower. But then again, he still had clothes on. Hmm. Another thing me and Captain was saying on about hours, the uh, researchers didn't have very good fashion sense, did they? No. Green shirts and brown trousers. Maybe it's a uniform. Yeah, but then you've got the white shirt, white shirts and brown trousers. Maybe it's a different uniform. I don't know. Like I went to a school and they they had two uniforms. They had uniforms for like the um, younger years, and they had another uniform for like the um, older. We had something like that. To my school, you had like your, your school uniform, then you had your PE uniform. Yeah. And the, had- and it was expensive. Uh, the regular uniform, and then we had the sports uniform, and then we had the winter sports uniform. Which That's what we had. Before. Right. This is where we kind of got stuck. We were looking around for hours, wondering why we couldn't get it, we couldn't get to this point when I was doing a fighting one. Because we're like, what the hell's wrong? And I'm like, hang on a minute. We're supposed to get the emblem. Because now I can get Yarn's cl- y- the key to Yarn's room really early. Yeah, fighting got the bad ending on the run of it, and the reason why is because do you know when you well, do you know when you but you go down the hall after you've actually beat you on the second time? You're supposed um, to you're supposed to wait for Barry to come back with the rope, and he didn't wait, so he didn't. Oh yeah, yeah. And that clinches it. If you don't wait for Barry with that time, you get the bad end, bad ending, or the part of the bad ending, because you can save Chris if you want, but you can't save Barry, which means yeah. you don't get the rocket launcher. No, oh, no, I can't get into it yet. I need the armor key. I like games that have different endings to them. Well, he complained because you. I think you have to have Barry help you every time, so I actually have to get poisoned by Yawn as well. And he complained because I said, this is stupid, you have to actually be bad at the game to get the bad, good ending. And I'm like, not necessarily. Well, in a way. I mean... You have to play, play the damsel in distress every time. Well, in Jill's, I don't. In Ray's, um, Chris's scenario, you just basically have to help Rebecca out near enough every time. I'll let her come with you or whatnot. And again, damsel in distress scenario. Basically. <sighs> Stem control. I love it how scientists like half make stairs and then uh, one like, like, hmm, should we put this here? I know, we'll be stupid and leave the map in a hard to get place. Oh wait, we need to get there first. So they just conveniently leave half made stairs there. the map of the first floor we'll take it oh no we'll go around blind I'm in that kind of mood today where I'm really gonna be sarcastic most of the time yeah I get in those moods as well oh still need to I actually still need to equip this it's another mistake uh, character made because he went around he didn't equip it and he actually literally stomped on his head to get the zombie off him the famous dead zombie trick. Die already. You die. That, that zombie is a tank. Tank zombie. That's another thing I, I noticed that the zombies like die in two hits. We some we a pistol on the on the training mode and the re, re, not the remake but the director's cut and I'm like what the hell. They made the game super easy. 
Well, the thing is, there's a trick to unlocking it. You've got to go if you go select advanced mode and hold right for a while, it'll let you go, select it. Otherwise, it won't. Oh god, this I'm gonna hate this bit. I didn't even save either, did I? Uh, I'm not safe stating, I mean, I didn't save at all. Screw this, I'm running. I don't have the means to kill them at the moment, and I don't not, not try and kill them without saving first. There's a save room around here, I think. Uh, so you're not doing a completely saveless run? No, I'm not like, going I'm not going without saves all the way, no. God. That would be a long time. I'd have to do, I'd like to do the whole game low, that many times, that'd be awful. Before you ended up doing it. I've seen Leviathan do the second one without saving at all. But he knows the game, he plays the game nearly every day, he knows everything. Will you stop Go walking away. into walls, Dill? Save rooms around here. I love how Jill's like running away from zombies, like, I will open this door as slowly as possible. Hello. What the hell? That never happens normally. Apparently I kill that zombie in three hits. Cool. Oh, damn, I missed this. No, you're not dead. Nice trap. Damn ring. Apparently I shot his arm off. Will you just die already? <sighs> no, that be alright for now. I think this is a bird puzzle. Or maybe in. Birds. Oh no, 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 I'm not going there. Forget that. No way. There's bloody dogs there and I haven't. Oh god. Zombie dogs. They're actually. Called, I've actually we actually uh, found that. If you look on the slides, they're, they're actually called Cerberuses. Uh -huh. Which is actually named after the Greek free headed dog. About that. This is a one room or not? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Unlike Necro, I'm not going to struggle at this and get this wand. I know this puzzle quite easily. And I can actually press it. Yes, we do that one. Evil crows. That's what I another thing I had fun with. I actually killed them with the rocket launcher. A lot of people I've seen make a mistake where, do you know they pick the lively boy in before the infant and they're like, what the hell? Are they crows or are they ravens? I don't know. I think are they the, big or are they small? It does, well, it does actually say, it, when you see forest being pecked to death, it says it being, you've been pecked to death by crows. Uh -huh. So, uh, where's the young man? Oh yeah, it's a white one, isn't it? You know. Because crows I don't like. Ravens I really don't like. Thing is, they move too fast, so when, I'm, when you're trying to shoot them, it's annoying. So you basically do not move, pee them off, basically. It's a good idea. Yep. Right, Middle-aged man, when Jill stops walking into walls. I did do something like this earlier, that I'm, like, I'm a thingy of a run. I thought... I was thinking to myself, I'm sure I got that other one because I was missing a crust and then I realised I got it and I left it in there. I'd actually done the puzzle, walked away without getting the crust because I thought, I'm sure I've done that puzzle. Yeah. God. Here comes the music. Yes, we'll take the stars, Crest. Now I really, I, now I really need to get the save room because I'm out of space now. Yeah, you keep going there. Uh... I don't like that music. It makes you. 
It makes you think you've done it wrong and you're going to attack you, but they never do. Yeah. No, that's the way I've just been. That's where the dogs are. There's save room around here. I know there is. And it's probably in here. When you get to the door, you'll not. Oh, yeah, helmet room. This door. You unlocked it. Well done, Jill. Hello. Oh, he's dead. Cool. I think there's another one on there. Is that the other one? Yeah, that's the other one. Just go in here. Save room. Drop some stuff off that we don't need. In fact, I still haven't got the actual Yonka yet. I'm going to need that. Though. Chemical. We'll pick up them. Oh, yeah. All about how, um, uh, do you know, like, other things you can pick up straight away? What other things you can pick up straight away? Do you know, like, when you get the, when you get the clips when they're not in the chest, they automatically go to your other clips, yet when you try putting the clips from the chest in here, they won't go on the other clips. No, because I haven't played Resident Evil. <laughs> Watch, I'll show you what I mean. If you go like that, they don't go. But if you're picking them up when you find them alone, they'll go straight onto it. How can you show me through just a voice Skype call? <laughs> You're not seeing this, are you? No. I've just real. I oh my. Been it since the start. Sorry, I've just literally just realised. Just uh, oh, I made a boo boo there. Just <laughs> a minute, folks. Just uh, sorting something out. So I can seriously sorry about that. I've just. Why didn't you tell me? I thought that you were meant to do that. No, no, no. I meant to like let you see the whole thing. That was the whole point of it. <laughs> oh, right. There Don't worry about this, folks. This is now. right. This is what happens when uh, it's like this. When you're playing the game, when you find clips normally, it normally just pops straight on. But when you try to put them in the box, it won't go and connect them. You have to actually combine them all. It's not combining them now, is it? What the hell? Oh, God, is it frozen? It's said it's 30 on one of them. Ah, oh, there we go. For a minute, it's frozen because I don't know if it's frozen up, but I'm keeping that. I'm going to go save, and then I'm going to go put those uh, ink ribbons back. I'm keeping the knife on me just in case. Yeah, I know. Now I've put it on the um, uh, screen share. It's being buggy. See if I remember card two actually because uh, the other ones have got saves on and Dino will probably say, Oh see you you have got save in it. That's the only thing I really I mean a lot of people like it, but I really didn't like that you got to find saves and you only unlimited saves in the game. Especially annoying if you're nearly dead and you're like, no, I'm going to die. I'm not a big fan of like save points in games, so having save points and limited saves would just drive me crazy. <laughs> well, most people, you don't. It's very hard to use them up, but it's annoying. This is really going to slow. This uh, screen share is really slowing it down now. Okay, I'm gonna have to use some of the little speed thing to make things a little faster. It's otherwise it's gonna annoy me. Dramatic opening of door. Yeah, and this is gonna do my head, and I literally it slowed down like a slug. Not that bad though. I seen worse. Oh, 
Ultras low door opening. That's with me using the speed hack as well, which makes the game a little faster. Or supposed to. Ooch. Alright, let's go kill those dogs. Which I do need to kill because the hunters, when the hunters come in that hallway and the dogs are still there, they're going to murder me. Oh, for crying out loud. It's because I've got a crap processor on my laptop. There's not anything else running, is there? No, it's literally just that. Just because I've got my, I've got a high, t a high quality recorder running. Take that doggy! Come on. And that. Come on. Can you even see it? Is that even coming to one? What the hell? Apparently the dog's not interested in coming here. Nice try. Like how we tried jumping him in then and I just still killed him. Get up. Um, was... God. That damn dog won't die. It won't. That's a very, very fast, strong. Thank you. Hmm, I'm wondering if I could scrooge dream share in a way which might not actually uh, make it as bad. I could use join me, but... This is very annoying. I'll go back in here, because I need to go... Uh, Get the uh, yarn key. That's a bit of a glitch. Have you seen that? The dog's in the wall. Oh dear. Silly game. Dogs don't belong in walls. What are you doing? <sighs> It's probably what they think. The good thing is that's what I like about the recorder. It slows it down, but it doesn't show up to slow down the recorder. I've already been in there, so we want to go back to the dining room. The dining room. I hope they have sandwiches. <laughs> See? Oops, I think I've just. No, that should be alright. I'm gonna as soon as this is done I'm gonna have to turn it off to inch um, because it's just gonna keep doing this. I hope my mic doesn't pick up your recording because it's an integral mic. It won't be that. Okay, okay. 
Yeah, I'm gonna have to take it off screen share because it's just gonna slow it down. Okay. I'll just wait till this is done because otherwise it's not gonna bug up. What is it? It's basically because I'm using the, one of the best recorders I've ever had, which is high quality, which is why it's slowing it down so much because it's just taking so much of my CPU up. No, I'm using something called Debut, which when I've used my Mario ones, it's not given any lag at all. Sorry about this folks, the quality will get better in a few secs. It's not a weapon, it gives you ammunition. You've got the acid rounds, which we don't need yet because we haven't got the bazooka from Dead Forest. Excuse me a minute, just folks. I'm just going to stop this stream share, which should also call it. Sorry about this. It's alright. It's annoying. Very annoying. I'd like to get a bit of laptop, but at the moment I really can't afford one. I know that feel. Right. Again, Barry said he was going into the dining room, and again he won't be there. He's not very reliable, is he, Barry? Well, he is, considering you save your butt nearly every other time. I suppose so, but he's never where he says he is. I mean, you don't... The thing is, you can use the... Uh, that's enough, because fighting really didn't need, use Barry's help as well, a lot, because... He used the V-Jolt on Plant 42's roots, which actually lets you kill it without having need Barry's help. He didn't wait for him. He didn't get poisoned by Yawn. Which I do agree with him, you've literally have to be bad at this game or not or basically know how to do the ending for it to not to be like that. Yeah, that's quite funny. You get punished for actually doing stuff on your own. Basically, yeah. Him. We've got the Yawn kit, well. Technically, the shield key, but I call it the on key. Why am I trying to come around and check so it comes up with the shield key? I was supposed to be doing a proper recording this, we're fighting it, late, either later on or tomorrow, but uh, he, didn't, he didn't reply to me, so I don't know if he's, we're still going to be doing it or not. Yeah. Apparently he broke his, both of his legs. Ouch. Yep. And he's still, the thing is, he broke both of his legs and says, sorry, I've just got back from the gym and like, what? Well, you're worse than me, you broke both of your legs, yet you're still going to the gym. No, he has broke his legs. It's just, he's mad. Crazy. Even that, I was going to gym to check out girls. That could be it. Hmm. Could be. You never know. Maybe he's just doing like weightlifting. Probably maybe. Go away. Now, I'm not going to kill him yet because I want to do this little trick that I tried doing last time with this. Unless I can kill him quickly before he gets back up. Damn it. Do I have to be managed to break both his legs? I don't know. This time you stay dead. There's the cool little trick of uh, fighting actually talking with this. Now, he's put, he, he did it with both of them, but I'm not that skilled. You push the statue to in and you carry the knife, you can actually kill the other zombie with a knife without getting hurt. Gosh. Because the idiot zombie. That's it, go straight towards that.
Get her back up. And now you're dead. That wasn't very smart, was it? Well, zombies aren't known for the high IQs. I love it how like Jill just like sings, Oh, I need to do this. I know I'll make this statue. I will actually clap I will actually reach up and take the stool out of the hand, I'll just smash it. That's actually a point. Is there such things as clever zombies? Well, there is a report somewhere which says the zombies IQ drops. In this so game. It drops from the original kind of human being that Basically, it yeah. So I'd say no. Though uh, Nemesis is quite is actually the uh, seems to be intelligent and so does Tyrant. Maybe they had like a super high IQ when they were still human. Nah. They've been they've just more advanced zombies. Nemesis is annoying though. Hello What the oh damn crap 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 He's gonna grab me isn't he? I forgot to like uh Don't you poison me. I forgot to unequip my knife and re-equip my uh, thing. Oh, that wasn't very smart. No, it wasn't. Is he dead? I hope he's dead. No, I can't stop him. Yeah, I think he's dead. You, you just poisoned me. I'm still on... I'm still... I'm on yellow fine. I'm alright. Come okay, on. Took zombie. He took four bullets, one knife stab, and then another bullet before he died. Gosh, that's a that's a pretty good zombie. Yeah. I'm just glad there's no crimson heads in this one. I mean, there's the naked ones later that just respawn after you've killed them and come back in the room, but naked zombies. Yeah, they've literally got no clothes at all. And when you kill them and go back out of the room and come back in, they're, all, they're, they're back alive again somehow. Weird. In the remake, they're, uh, they turn into crimson heads, which are annoying. Because they literally really are hard to kill. Wait, does that mean if they're naked, they died naked? I don't know. I dread to think now. I've never thought of that, actually. <laughs> That's actually disturbing. Who knows, they might have been doing something completely innocent, like getting out of the shower. Uh, yeah, but that's not what may probably people will think now. <laughs> oh dear. Duh. That's going to be stuck in my mind every time I play Resident Evil now. Sorry. It's alright, right, we need to, we're going to put the yarn key in. We're going to... No, we don't need that. Hmm. We're going to put the acid rounds back in. We pick up the ink ribbon from here because we're going to save again. I've wondered because I didn't actually do the uh, training thing because I don't without the uh, with with uh, out save states. I'm just wondering if the ink ribbon's doubled as well actually now. Now I've got to oh great! Now I've actually got to combine ink ribbons to save space. Uh, 
<sighs> Game, why do you do this to be annoying? Right now, I think we could go back to those other rooms, but first I want to. I know there's one a zombie here who's completely unspotted, man. It's because I can either kill him from shooting him in the back, or I should have been able to. Normally, when you shoot them from the back, they kind of get killed, die easier. You're not dead, are you? Yeah. Kind of like a sneak attack or a back attack. Basically, yeah. Well, technically, it'd be a back attack, wouldn't it? Suppose. It'd be a backhand of Jill Valentine. I don't really want to use that herb just yet. I'm trying to use it more for emergencies now. I think this. Yeah, that's a helmet door. Oh no, it's an armador. Uh, hello. You dead? Oh, that, that's never happened to me before. Sneaky zombie. While they were, while they were falling down. Oh, thank you. I was trying to save that herb. While they were falling down, he managed to grab my leg. I've just literally kicked his head off. <laughs> you kicked his head off. If you if you if a monster grabs Jill, if you keep pressing the fire button, it'll kick. She'll it'll kick her the red. She'll kick her red off. That's pretty cool. It's not because he's just put me on orange caution and I'm trying to save that herb. Uh, not so cool. No, you're not doing it this time. Oh, good, you're dead. Right, this is a statue room, isn't it? I don't need to go in here just yet, actually. So I don't know why I'm in here. I can't wait till I get the cold. If you like, get the good endings in both of them, the directors actually cut. You get the cult python with that with infinite ammo. Which is pretty damn cool. Oh god, this bit. This is the bit where the zombie comes out of the closet. Pun if not intended. What? <laughs> I don't know. Pun not. I did say pun not intended there, but. I'm not. Nah, I don't think I should. should I, I'm not even going to bother collecting the books, really. Yeah, I'll get one. I'll get him. Hello. Die already! You're not hugging me. I it took four shots and he died. Hug. What? It only wants a hug. It only wants to chump on my shoulder. No, it's not chumping on my shoulder. I'm on yellow fine again. What happened that time? Oh. What would happen if somebody died with like a free hugs t-shirt on? <laughs> yeah, you can imagine that in this mansion, can't you? I think there's um, uh, is, I'm sure there is. There's an ink ribbon in here, I think. Not for none of them useful. Useful. I'm sure there's an ink ribbon in here. Or is it another place? With... No, no ink ribbon. That's crappy. This one there's an ink ribbon in there. By the way, do you remember when Jay said in Necro stream about the alternate ending? There is alternate beginning, so if you in the director's cut, if you keep going back, you do actually see Wesker talking to you. So he was right. Yeah, it was just the wrong version that, it, that Necro was playing at the time. Yeah, Necro's playing the version I'm doing now. I still need to kill that plant to get the armor key. So are you just playing the original version then? Yeah, I'm not playing the director's cut. Because so, uh, the thing is, um, people, I've had people do this before. I mean, I don't really use save states in the Let's Plays, like Mario and stuff. It's only on games that, like Sonic, which basically, if you don't, if you screw up, you have to do the whole game again. Yeah. And I will use save states in them. It's just... If I don't do, if they do the director's cut, like a let's play, people go, oh, you see, that's easier. You you, you get auto aim. Oh, you're doing this. Oh, you're doing that. And I'm like, fine, fine. Yeah, might as well go the full. 
Oh, no, my log the go. Why didn't you do it without saves completely? That would have been better than like. <sighs> Because the no matter what you do, someone will pick at you for something. Yeah. I think that room's around here. Yeah, isn't it? Is it? The room I need to get to so I can get the shield key is to kill Plant Forty Two. Some Plant Forty Two's roots and whoop it off with some Coca Cola. Yeah, this is the room. Oh, uh, this is the outside. Yes, you're having a nice little bath there, aren't you? Plant 42 roots, which we don't know of yet. I'd love to know what that chemical is, really, though. Because it turns the water red, and then it comes out Coca-Cola. And I've just peed off Plant 42 a little. Oh well. Oh dear. Wow, and there's a lot of herbs here, and I bet I don't have enough room for all of them. Mm, I've got a bit of room. I could pick up some. Right. First, we get some of the red herbs, so I can combine it and make a super herb. Well, not a complete super herb, but a decent herb. I need to have a herb anyway, I'm on yellow fine. What hurt me then? I mean, I, I healed straight after that zombie got me, so I don't know what got me there. Poison? Maybe. That's another thing I don't get. Apart, somehow zombies apparently throw up poison. Hmm. Or, if it's not poison, apparently throw up can hurt you. It's weird how this game's logic works, really. That's why we don't question game logic. Yep, pretty much. Although all the game's like, oh, we'll give you a load of herbs to waste easy and then you will die later on the game. The game literally tries doing that. It gives you loads of shotgun rounds here and there, and then you think, so oh, I can use a shotgun. Whereas more experienced players will go, no, not yet. Save them. Because we were having this discussion, me and Frank were having this discussion, it was the game completely trolls you, like, say, oh, go on, use the shotgun rounds. Go on, use the shotgun rounds. Go on. Go on, you know you want to use your shotgun. And then later on, the hunters come and they're like, ha ha ha. Should have saved your shotgun rounds. Damn it, game! I think that's all I can get, and there's no ink in here. I've got plenty of herbs, now I need to go back to the save room, and I've now got the armor key. Resident Evil. Trolling before trolling was called trolling. <laughs> Pretty much. I don't, the only, I mean, I'd like, I guess I'd probably like the remake if the controls weren't as bad, but I really don't like it for that. Right, I've used the armor key. Now, this is probably a room I really shouldn't be going in before the save room, but oh well. I've got herbs on me if I need them. Ah. Hmm. This is a broken shotgun run room, which I could use to stop the shotgun trap, but I'll get the bad ending if I do that, so I won't be taking it. Hmm, that's something I've never noticed. There's a hole in the wall here, I've never noticed that before. And neither does Jill apparently. I guess I will use a lot pick. Ooh, shotgun rounds. See? Game. Nice try. Not using them yet. For one, I haven't got the shotgun yet. Two, I don't want to use them yet. We need to go back to the save room. I still need to go pick up the blue jewel as well. 
when she's still on the floor of the dining room next to the smashed statue. I was saying, can you imagine like if the owner of this mansion suddenly turns up and he's like, what the hell happened? Smashed things everywhere, blood everywhere. Zombies. Well, the zombies would be cleared out if, because like if you get the bad, really bad ending, the mansion didn't explode. So imagine if the like owner of the mansion turns up like, oh, I'm back from it. What the hell happened here? Yeah. Especially when you like throw the keys every two seconds as well. Yeah. You know, like, cause you see this key is useless. Oh, I'll get rid of it then. But the guy just comes around and, like he's finding keys on the floor. What? No, he's like finding keys on the floor. Like, who keeps throwing, who's throwing the keys on the floor? I'm gonna keep ahead of me as I did last time. I'm going to save. Whoever lives there must be pretty cryptic, though, having puzzles all over the place. Well, yeah, I know. If, oh, you. I, okay, that, I've been an idiot now. I've gone up to the typewriter and forgot to pick up the uh, ink ribbon from the box. Are you scratching something? Uh, kind of drawing. Ah, right. I just thought, like, I thought you could just, like, hear was scratching and I'm like, what the hell? Yeah, so yeah. right. It's me drawing at the same time. This game didn't give you rank, but if it did, you'd like, in, even if you like did really badly, you'd get the rank enhanced if you save states by not saving according to the game. Right. Now, we can go back and have a look. They really don't like have good decorations here. All the wallpaper is like deep green. Maybe it's an old man who owns the mansion and he just can't be bothered redecorating. Probably from look at this. Right now that door, I think, leads to either leads. I think it leads to the other hallway. I'm not sure though. It leads to where I've just been. Idiot gone. That's the only thing so annoying. It's kind of funny, but uh, not funny because the mansion's that annoying. You don't really know much about it. It's either that or you don't know what to come with. Yeah, that's the one that leads to the other hallway. Which I. No, I can't open that door because it's locked from the other side. So let's go pick up the jewel from the dining room and trail all the way back for nothing. Yes, we got the jewel. This is going to be. I have to literally have to go all the way back to where I've just been, all that way past the save room, just to put get this some rounds which I won't use yet. In fact, no, it's not rounds. It's just to get another crest which I still won't use yet. Do you know Diana subscribed me to to me today? You know. I didn't know. Well, I, I saw her like uh, she subscribed to fighting, and I'm like, what? That's not very nice. She subscribes to him, but she doesn't subscribe to me. So I subbed her, and I said, why are you not subscribing? Literally a second after she subbed me. <laughs> and I thought guilty much. subscribed to me but not too bothered. Well she's only subscribed to certain people. I mean Levi Levi she subbed to Levi. Yeah. What do you mean I can't I've got yes I can use it, thank you very much. It's saying I can't use the blue jewel to, with the tiger statue when I can. I know you're sub to me. Yeah, I'm definitely Levy sub to you. I 
quite a few people since you know. I've actually today I've reached twenty five. Which is amazing. Claps. So uh, now I've got a crust which I really still don't need yet, but it's the lion statue. Couldn't have could have given me anything better than well, of course it could have given I need the crest, but it could have given me anything. Could we give a crest and more bullet rounds, but they were like, Nope, you have to get between the game first. We don't need to go up there. Thing is, I don't remember them being so many armor doors in this game. Or maybe that's just because I never used, never actually made it so it looked like told it said it was the armor key. Save room, put this stupid. I'm not going to save this time because otherwise I'm just going to end up wasting the saves, which I need. that back, put that back, no, I don't want the shell, in fact I don't actually need to combine the shells so I'll put that, get the shells, come. this is painstaking and all, just literally have to get, take all the shells out just to combine them to make more space in the box. What are you drawing at the moment anyway? I'm just working on um, coursework for college. I'm supposed to be doing that right now, but I'm like, I think I'll do it when I'm at college. I just do it when I'm bored sometimes, just like, oh, I'm just going to do some coursework. You have fun coursework, though. I have to type things up all day. I literally get to college. I'm new enough chained to a monitor for the rest of the day. Uh, we've only had two essays. You get to draw. I have to type everything up. I don't uh, even get to do anything wait. fun. And we've got another one at the end of the year, and a pre and a presentation. I have that nearly every day. Literally, when it first started in the in the one day, I get like four, five tasks put to me because I have instead of doing one shoot with the whole course, I've got set twelve different units with different shooters. Well, we have to put up put up an end of year show in about four weeks' time. <sighs> So. Yeah, it's not the funny thing is tutors ask you to do the work and email it to to them, which they email it back and eventually at some point it always gets lost nearly. Yeah, that always. And then they yeah. complain at you for not doing the work, which I do. This happened to me. That's why I got annoyed because tutors complained at me to, that I hadn't done the work that I sent two months ago, which had recently forwarded them another email showing the date which had actually sent the work. I remember once uh, when I was doing A level art, I asked my teacher to keep hold of one of my sculptures for me, and they lost it. And about a month later, they found it, and it had been decapitated. So. Whew. I heard that uh, at the end of when I did uh, drawing with y'all, resistant materials in school, at the end of the year, when you do any final product, you were supposed to collect it before you went. They said I couldn't get it. Then when I went for a visit, I, well, I'm two months late, and I said, oh, we've got something for you. Well, like, what it is, it's your cupboard. So, like, okay. Then I found out this bottom, which it had all been planted the blue, blue, but the bottom, someone had sanded away, so it wasn't the same colour anymore. Oh. Then we're at the crow room. Where are we see forest? Which we don't really need to, so I'm just going to, like, pick up this bazooka first, look at a forest, then run. I got annoyed of... I uh, went back to my old school to inquire about my uh, GCSE artwork. Yeah, it is crows, by the way. It says it's forest. He's been pecked to death by crows. Uh. Which are coming to try and get me now, but they're not going to get me because I'm, I'm Jill Valentine. But they, they said, um, oh, we've disposed of it all. It's just like... That's illegal. They can't do that. They can, they're only allowed... They were supposed to keep it for at least a year. The yeah, cat, they didn't even keep it for a year. It's illegal. They're literally, actually, the the legal right is for the they they have to keep your 
certificate or coursework or anything for at least a year. Yeah, I got my certificates and everything. Because we I get just went back to get my coursework, and it's just like, oh, we've thrown it all away. Cause all the uh, sketchbooks, everything. My college has that because apparently. They keep, every time I get a certificate for like doing one of the tasks, I keep they keep saying, "Remember to take it in. We dispose of it in a year." And I'm like, "I'm pretty sure I'll get it before then." You can step away. I'm not making that same mistake again. Oh, you're already dead. And I need to read. Yeah, yeah. They give you a year, so you don't forget. And I'm like, I'm pretty sure I'll collect them within a year. There's people that don't. I don't know anybody who hasn't. I know quite a few people who haven't. And I was just like, why haven't you? You know, it's. You just. No. I just don't understand the certificates. You're meant to have them. You're not guessing me, gas trap. That's another thing that happened. Every time, like, uh, I go on a stream and fight in there, I always say gas trap purely because the second gas trap later on, he got to the bit where he nearly, he nearly pushed the block on the switch. I said, You nearly said it off. Then he went, No, it won't set it off. So he went, Watch. And he put the, switch, the box off the switch and it set it off and gassed him. <laughs> Which I laughed my head off at, like, Oh, I'll be fine. And, like, so, you know, every time we do something and I make a mistake and go, oh, It won't set it off. Yeah, and then it does. Which is why I keep seeing gas traps and he goes, I hate you, gone. And I can't remember if this is a crest or a lighter. I think it's another crest. I, I agree with Kiko there. Whoever works here must have a hard life. Like, did you get all the crests? Oh, I guess you're not going to work today. That must really suck having to collect all yeah. the crests all the crests just to get to work in the morning. Yeah. Li they all live at work though, technically. They all live in the mansion. So technically they live at work, which is kind of disturbing. Mm. It's locked from inside. Well, I suppose there's people who are like house, house servants and stuff like that. Well, yeah, I suppose. I would never have asked someone to do that though. Money yeah, but something. still, even if I had, I'd never do that. I just wouldn't. I don't know. I think I would. <laughs> well, it, I know not not being. It just seems cruel to me to have someone actually wait on you all the day. It's just my preference, well, really. Paid for it. Yeah, I know, but it just it just feels like you're belittling them. You know, you're higher up than them. It doesn't feel right to me. I'd treat them like friends. Well, yeah, That's but. <laughs> It just, I don't know. I'm just feel that way. That's it, Jill. Pointlessly open the door slowly when it, oh crap, I forgot you were there. I really shouldn't come that way. Literally, when I go out the door, where I've just been, there's a zombie right there already. You're not hugging me. You've just made me waste that many shots because I couldn't actually shoot him properly because he was right near me. I mean it. There's a save room down there, though, which I'm looking forward to. He's only even making those noises because he's bad tempered because he can't get a hug. <laughs> Why won't anybody hug me? Because you're trying to kill me. I think there's another one hiding down here as well. It's like next to the save room door, there's just like a zombie. If you go the other way, there's a zombie just standing there, like nonchalant, like, hi. Didn't even. Oh no, they went, that's the other way. Didn't even attack it, just standing there. I've got enough room. I've got enough room for that herb. I'm next to a save room. Will you take the green herb? Yes. I still have to drop off the bazooka and the uh, these crest first though.
I know it's like when the game didn't lag, I was using the speed half and it was really funny because I can you, you can literally make Jill spin around really really fast and run away run around everywhere really fast and if you could just like edit that it made the game look hilarious. <laughs> Even the voice acting you can speed up so like you get back to it and you're dining room. Jill on speed. Hmm. It's locked. I I never held me though. Yeah, I've already been in here as well. It's a crow puzzle room. I'm only really missing one crest and I can get into the lab. I'm not doing too bad of a time here actually. And there's the doggy thing. The entrance to it, which I didn't really want to go, but now I'm alright. I've got a hair bum in this time. Come on, doggy, let me kill you. Get back up. I keep forgetting I ain't got auto aim on and I just tried and I missed. Damn, I've wasted too many shots there. I missed like three times. Oops. I can't really do anything here anyway because this is where I get into like, to the outside bit. When I wanted to go kill Plant 42. I'm really mean though, I actually killed the sharks. Do you know when they stop fl when they flopping on the floor? Yeah. I literally got a knife and went, you're dying, you try killing me. And she was kind of cruel. It's crazy. technically a mercy kill. Well, yeah, but they literally held us like, help me. Like, nope, you're dying. Because a shark's like fish, they can't breathe out of water. Or yeah. they're like whales and dolphins that can breathe out of water. A shark can't breathe out of water, I think, if it's left too long. Then it's technically a mercy kill. Yeah, but they don't die. You can go back later on and they're still there flapping, so. Invincible sharks. They're still helpless. It's funny because they can't bite you because they're like, I'm out of water. Help. Nope, you're going to die. Here we go. Shotgun trap room. I always think there's like another uh, ink ribbon in here. I think there's in the, there probably is in the director's cut, but there isn't in the original. Let's get saved by Barry. Oh, nearly squashed. I nearly turned into a Jill sandwich. Yeah, when it goes up, that's actually set the trap off if you go back in the room. So if you put the actual broken one on, on it, water set the trap off, but you get the bad ending because Barry didn't help you. Uh -huh. The reason you get the bad ending if you don't let Barry help you is because technically by letting him help you, you're trusting Barry, which will let you uh, get the good ending because you trust him more, so you won't die. If you don't, you don't really trust him apart unless and he dies, so you get the bad ending. Let's just stand here because you get the cutscene anyway. Oh crap, I've gone wrong somewhere. Oh dear, oh dear. Okay, I've, but that's never happened to me. just become a Jill sandwich. We have, and I didn't save. That's, I didn't, I didn't know that happened. I've just realized that happens if you get, if you get, let Barry get you. Don't. Oh, nom human ketchup. Oh god, I've got to go find the broken shotgun now. I didn't save either. How bad are we go? Oh god. Wait, so now you got to get the broken shotgun? Yeah, because I met Barry earlier in the live the earlier on than it was supposed to. Ah. So we didn't save us, which means I might be getting the bad ending now. Oh, Brook great. It poops. I'll look, I could don't even know how long I'd save the guard. What have I got? I bet I haven't even got the bazooka. In fact, actually, if I've, if I've actually not saved before I met Forrest, I may be okay then. What have we got? 
Have we got the bazooka or anything? No, but I still think I'm going to get the bad ending if I don't get it. So I think it's if you don't meet Forest after this for a while, I still get the good ending. The good the shotguns for safe, so I can't meet Forest yet. Why are you so mean, game? Why do I have to be really bad to, win to beat you? I'm going to go all the way back there just just to find that room and see if it does again, which I bet it'll do it again now and I'll die again. You see, the, you have to, you're not supposed to meet him that early, or you're supposed to meet him upstairs, or you're not supposed to go to the forest. Or you, I, it's one of the two. I think I have to go to the shotgun trap before I go to forest. At least I hope, anyway. That was actually embarrassing. That's never happened to me either before. Have you actually ever seen that happen to anybody before? No, I haven't. That's embarrassing. I haven't seen Jill become a Jill sandwich. I wonder what kind of filling would be on a Jill sandwich, apart from Jill. Probably tomato sauce. Yes. Ammunition. <laughs> a couple of green herbs. <laughs> <laughs> they never specify what herbs they are. There could be anything paprika or sage, but they're not. Or they could be something different. Like what? Like something illegal. Ah, no, they could have never thought of it that way. So in other words, Jill just thinks she's better when she's not. Because how do they actually take the herb? We do not know. I think they eat it. He could eat it. They could I mean, go. you could. Oh, <laughs> I mean, smoke. only Chris has a lighter and Jill doesn't have a lighter, so. Yes. No, I have legal herb can be eaten as well. Well, yeah, I suppose. I, yeah, you're right there, actually. I'm actually concerned this game is really. I'm <laughs> really concerned that Jill might be a stoner. Oh dear. Richard. I'm at the richer part already as well. I bet I've bugged it up again. This house is dangerous. There are terrible demons. Ouch! You're wounded. What kind of demon attacked you? It was a human snake. You can't tell from the bites, really, Jill? Poisonous? Richard, hold on. There are Oh no, Fortunately, I know how to do this because if you don't save him, you also get the bad ending. No problem. I'll go and get it. Thanks. This game is so annoying with this. Like, if you don't, if, like, if you don't do this this way, I'm gonna game over you. If you don't do this this way, I'm gonna game over you. I'm not game over you, but give you a bad ending. Like I've got, if I don't get the ammo disc and save Chris, I get the bad. I get the really bad. Well, if I get Barry alive, I get the partially bad ending. It's not really nice. No. I think you, to actually get the this to get the special key, I think you you need to finish to get get the good ending. To get the rocket launch, you've got to finish the game under three hours. So we don't want to go to Forest this time. We want to go to see go get see Barry, but first we need to go save uh, Richard, which I know the quickest way to do, so he doesn't die. I'm not sure if it's how many doors you open or the how much time it takes or which way you go. But I've always used this one and I've it's never never failed me before. So you go across, go in here, and we go to the save room or serum room. Which is, hopefully, yeah, it's down here. This this bit's the most funniest bit. Your friend's dying of poison, Jill, and you'll think, oh, I'll walk the stairs as slowly as possible. 
She's a bit heartless at some point, isn't she? Yeah, or just a bit oblivious. Like, oh, my friend isn't actually dying. Right, I'm you know, gonna... he doesn't really need my help. I'm actually gonna. I need to pick up the shield key here, actually, because the yarn's coming up soon. So I'm gonna take one of my uh, semi-good herbs as well, because I'm gonna get. I know I'm gonna get poisoned by him, but I'll get saved by Barry. But still, he, I, he could kill me before I get the uh, thing, which you don't want. Right, we get a serum. And I'm really sure I'm gonna save her as well. I'm like screw it, I'm saving here. Can we have a pause as well? What, you mean pause the actual recording? Yeah. Yeah, I might as well actually I'm just recording long, so I'll just I'll just save it here. So this has been Let's Play Resident Evil Part One with uh Rayal Danger. And we will con hopefully continue in soon folks, but see you in a bit.